Hello, Josh here. I'm going to show you how to track QR codes that we've made. Let me show you real fast. This will be a very short video. First of all, you're going to see that we plan everything out on a, a doc beforehand, and everything that we put into the QR codes has Google Analytics. So at the very end, if we see purchases coming out uh, using Google Analytics, then we can track where they came from. And the source is scheduled for all the QR codes that we've made so far. The medium says technically QR code. Uh, technically and then the campaign term is San Clemente or, or Old Town San Diego uh, and the reason we plan this is because there can be more cities and so on it could be Los Angeles and such now we have provided these long links that say QR code at the end and that's so that they are similar to an EPS file you could print them with high quality and everything but once someone scans this technically what it does and the reason I showed you that is it takes them from step one as you can see up here to step two and step two is a, a short link called the bit.ly and step two if you click on that bit.ly technically it immediately forwards you to the front of this link in step three which is Amtrak California and it has all this junk at the end up here and this junk is very important it's Google Analytics it shows the word schedule in here it reads it and downloads it QR code and San Clemente so as they experience it we can see they started at the schedule and so on and we can track it very smartly in the long run now here's a little trick you're watching this video because you want to track it let's get right to the good stuff that QR code once they scan it it takes them to this link I'm gonna copy and paste this which will provide it in an email for you let's open up a new tab over here to the right put that little bitly link in there notice how this bitly doesn't have the dot QR code at the end you make take off that dot QR code and then put this little tiny plus sign before you press enter put a plus sign hopefully you see that up there in the upper left then immediately press enter and once you've put the plus sign at the end of the bitly before you press enter you'll see how many times this has been clicked on you can down here in the left click on all time at by hour 24 hours 7 days you can see total clicks up there and so on you can also recreate the the uh, the everything right here and you can scroll down and see what countries it's in it for our purposes it doesn't matter really it, it'll all be in the United States in California so that's how you track them just to repeat real quick if you see the QR code link or the the if we provide a bitly for you you copy and paste that bitly into your URL bar of any browser this is web-based you put a little tiny plus sign on the end with no spaces and then it Im immediately unlocks the back end if for some reason this doesn't seem hundred percent accurate we also have this built into Google Analytics as well but this is uh, uh, we do not want to use the bitly's outside of the QR code we don't want to put these in the website because that bitly is designed just for that code so the more that it's used we know it was just for the QR code and not used in the website to link a bunch of things and emails and so on. So thanks for watching this video. This is Josh. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a holler. Take care.